go to the foremost philosopher of history, Arnold Toynbee. Go and read what he wrote. He wrote Civilization on Trial 70 years ago. Go find that book. Go read it. Not only read it, study it. And you will see where Arnold Toynbee is saying that modern Western civilization has come to the world with emission. He is saying it, not me. That this civilization has come to establish its dominance over all of mankind. The earth, the sea, the sky, everything. That is the mission of this civilization. To dominate over all of mankind. Why would such a thing happen? When it has never happened before in history. Is it happening by accident? Did this civilization fall down from the sky one Sunday morning while we were sleeping? Or is there something which explains the emergence of this unique, dazzling, and yet so dangerous civilization? Does the Quran have anything to offer to explain it? He said in that book that not only has modern Western civilization come with this agenda, but in addition it has come to replace every other civilization that has ever emerged in history. It has come with a philosophy of history that the latest is the best. And all previous civilizations, including the civilization of Islam, now belong to the museums of history. That's what he wrote. If you want to know what the civilization thinks about all previous civilizations, go to a man named H.G. Wells. He wrote a history of the world. He was British. <laughs> yes. Arnold Toynbee was British. Yeah. And you will see what H.G. Wells has to say, the British view of the world and human history. If you want to know what this civilization thinks about Islam, the religion. Another Englishman, this time it's a Scottish, Scots, how is he, Scottish, Scotman, Scotman? <laughs> yes, what's his name now? Montgomery Watt. In Edinburgh, I was just in Dundee a few days ago, close to Edinburgh. And there, from the University of Edinburgh, Montgomery Watt ruled the Oriental studies and he wrote several books and so my son I'm saying to you if you are living in Britain you are born in Britain and you do don't do your homework Imran has come to you to wake you up today do your homework go and study what these men have said about Islam but if you want to know what does a Muslim think about modern Western civilization, would you go to Al-Azhar University? <laughs> would you go to Sheikh Muhammad Abdu? Sheikh Al-Azhar? No, I don't suggest you do that at all. If you want to get the view from Islam, what does the Muslim think about modern Western civilization? I suggest you go and meet a man named Dr. Iqbal. Dr. Muhammad Iqbal, <laughs> yes, and read his fine little book, The Reconstruction of Religious Thought in Islam. Or better than that, go to the teacher, go to the student of Iqbal, his best student, oh yes, his best student, who was my teacher, Maulana Dr. Muhammad Fadlur Rahman Ansari. Rahimahullah, who wrote the two-volume books, 
the Quranic foundation and structure of Muslim society. Molana, why didn't you write it in Urdu? Molana, why did you write it in English? And his English is better than mine. The Molana knew why he wrote that book in English and not in Urdu. The Quranic foundations and structure of Muslim society. And you get the view from this side. What do we as Muslims think of modern Western civilization? But the full analysis could not come but from the Quran. And it did not matter whether your name was Imam al-Ghazali or Dr. Muhammad Iqbal. It didn't matter. You could not understand the Quran. No, until events had unfolded in history. And only when those events have unfolded in history, you'll be able to understand what the Quran is saying on this subject and that. So they can do what they want in Washington. All the think tanks, you cannot penetrate the Quran. No. But more than that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not only send the truth, He also sent us how to study the truth. Ar-Rahman, ba'da'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Ar-Rahman, allama al-Qur'an. Oh yes, not only is he Ar-Rahman, but also he has taught and he has given us the methodology for studying the Qur'an. Allama al-Qur'an.